Ah, uh, Tony Bygrave. I'm very lucky to live here in the uh, Wood Sundays, Early Beach. All right, well, it's um, it's an early 70s model, um, Haynes Hunter V19, um, reverse trine model, so very, the very, very first of the first Haynes's. Um, got it as a shell, a wrecked shell, and uh, two years of a lot of itching, a lot of grinding, and uh, converting it to a centre console. And uh, to sort of do what I do here, you know, a bit of everything, barra to reef to GTs, so it's that, you know, does a bit of everything. Uh, when I first finished the boat, um, money was a bit tight of course, so I got a second hand, four stroke. Um, look, great engine, but um, old technology, very heavy, um, a little bit thirsty on fuel, so yeah, eventually was able to upgrade, was watching motors, I researched everything, and uh, when these things first came out, I was like, hang on, this is, could be just perfect. So yeah, early this year, the big Merc went on. We've put on the uh, 200 V6, um, 3.4 litre. It's roughly about 50 kilos lighter, and it's the V6, so in the 200 class, it, it schools everything else, in my opinion. So it's power, economy, and it's just blown me away in every area. It really has. Hey, my name's Mark McNally. I'm the owner of Whitsunday Outboard Centre. Um, we primarily do probably 90% repower packages. With Tony's project, and he's put a lot of love into that boat, um, and being on that old school Haynes Facebook site, um, that's obviously when he puts those figures up, um, when he's doing 34 knot cruise speed, people sort of go, oh, wow, well, that's how you're doing that, and what are you doing to achieve that? A standard sort of all-round day at the reef for me, um, on the water early, you know, 3, 4 a.m., probably the closest, uh, the most common reef we go to is about 80 k's. So we'll, we'll blast out there and, and Getting close to the reef, I've got quite a few little jigging marks. So while it's early, while the sun's a bit low, um, I'll have a jig for like your red, red emperor, nana guy, that sort of thing. Till the, till the sun gets up, like uh, top water fishing, my thing. So that's that's what I go to the reef for. So once the sun gets up enough to see, I'm um, straight up into the shallows, and that's like yeah, that's that's my thing up in there. So yeah. With Tony's boat, it's a, pure, a great example of going into the murk. Um, he now cruises six or seven knots quicker, um, which means it gives him more fishing time out on the reef. Well, the, the biggest thing I've noticed is with this thing is economy at speed, which is uh, phenomenal. I was sitting on that sort of 26, 27 knots. I was getting around 1.6, like absolute best, best 1.7 at around that 26, 27 knots. Anything over that, it'd start really creeping up. This thing here at 30 knots, 30, 32 knots, I'm getting 2.1 kilometres a litre, but even up to 40 knots, I'm still getting 1.8, 1.9, and even wide open throttle, 47, 48 knots, I'm still getting like 1.6. For instance, like, it used to take me about two hours to get to my starting point at the reef, um, using around 50, 55 litres. I'm getting there now, on a, on a calm day that is, I can cruise at 35, 38 knots and get better economy, so I'm effectively there in probably 40 minutes quicker. So. It's given me an extra hour and a half, sometimes two hours fishing at the reef. The torque on this thing is phenomenal. Out of the hole, like I'm able to run, I started with a 19 pitch prop on this, and I'm able to run a 20 inch, which has dropped my revs right down. So 30 knots, I'm not even doing fourth hour, I'm doing about 38, 39. The adaptive speed control is a function which is awesome, especially doing long runs, especially coming back from the reef. A lot of times it'll blow up a bit from the north, so it's, it gets quite choppy. I was constantly, Constantly on the throttle, like as, as you're going, it'll, it'll drop in revs. You constantly have to put it up and put it, it'll sort of slowly drop down, um, you know, as it, in the rough stuff. This thing, it's just set, forget, so you can keep two hands on the wheel, one on the wheel, one on the grab rail when it's, um, you know, when, it, when it's rough and it just stays exactly on those revs, which is, it's, it, it's a great safety thing actually, you know, to be able to have when it's really rough and, you, and you're zinging it in. Both hands on the wheel, you're not worried about throttle control and that, so it's, uh, it's awesome. And that's how you get your best economy as well, because you're not constantly, you know, tweaking the throttle and that. It sets it, and away you go. I'll go and look off a bomb or off a point, and uh, 
I just leave this thing running. Like it, it is that quiet and, and you've got that added advantage when you do the you know, hook up big GT in heavy country, even the electric down, I can straight away get on the throttle and power out of there. I'm not having to try and restart, anything like that. So it's, um, it really is invaluable for the fishing I do. They're more than just boats. You know that. Yeah. <laughs>